East Coast LQ Views. Today, we got another beer review. This is kind of a revisit, considering that I did review the brewery um, and I did do this beer. But uh, yeah, just revisiting it. Um, I had another single of it left, so might as well throw out a uh, separate review specifically for the beer. This is Dogfish Head, where the wild hops are. It's a IPA, 6.5% alcohol by volume. It's a Dogfish Head Craft Brewery out of Milton, uh, I believe that's Delaware. Brewed and bottled by, yeah, Dogfish Head Craft Brewery, Milton, Delaware. Brangsville, Pennsylvania. Uh, Cincinnati, Ohio, in collaboration with the Boston Beer Company. If you want to check them out, you can go to dogfish.com. It says off-centered art series featuring Max Mon. Uh, it says Independent Craft Brewers Association on the website. It says this unfiltered rustic IPA is brewed with four wild-derived hops varieties that include Zappa, Amarillo, Comet, and Sabro. It's then blended with a touch of barrel aged wild ale that's been aged for four years in French oak barrels. The result is a complex blend of citrus meats dank that's rounded out by a touch of wild. With each sip, you'll be greeted by dry oak tinged finish. So, yeah, I'm gonna crack this open, go over the appearance, the aromas. Got my Trillium snifter glass. Let's go for the pour. Check this one out. Color of the beer, say slightly hazy, I'd say up to the light, it's kind of like a uh, golden color, sudsy white head, produced about a finger ahead, uh, yeah, nice fluffy white head on top, aroma, definitely a lot of like lemon, Lemon, grapefruit, some hop resin. So like piney, earthy, floral hop resin. Maybe even a little bit of mango as well. White bread. Some sweetness from it as well, like maybe like some uh, like honey-like sweetness. Yeah, it's, it smells decent. As far as um, the French oak barrels, maybe more caramel now that I think about it, rather than honey. Yeah, really getting no um, like oak on the aroma. But yeah, it smells good. Let's uh, Let's dive into it, cheers guys. Caramel malt in between, or like caramel. Cause I'm not sure if they use actual caramel malt, but there's definitely some caramel sweetness maybe from those barrels. A little bit of, maybe a little bit of vanilla in there. More citrus forward, definitely fruity up front, like orange, orange peel. Maybe some mango as well. Just like the aroma. It does have the oak astringency. It's very drying on the palate. I've actually I actually think this is I I'm kind of enjoying this a little bit more than the first one that I had. The first one, for some reason, the um the oak astringency was kind of just like overpowering the entire beer and it was kind of giving me an off flavor on the finish. For some reason, I'm enjoying this one a little bit more. Yeah, citrusy, fruity, a little bit of mango, um, grapefruit, nice earthy, flow hop finish along with that, that oak, caramel ball in the background. Nice breadiness, decent carbonation. Light to medium body. Yeah, it's decent. Like I said, I actually do enjoy this a lot more. Um, 
maybe when I bought it, it was super fresh and maybe it's had a little bit of time to just kind of settle down just a little bit. Uh, is there any date on here? Um, don't see any date on the bottle. But yeah, the first time I had it, for some reason, the it, that oak astringency was like a little overpowering. For some reason now, I'm getting a little bit more citrusy, fruity esters. Excuse me. There's that carbonation. Oh gosh, there's that carbonation. Excuse me. Yeah, um, for, for some reason right now, I'm getting more citrusy, lemon, orange, uh, grapefruit, a, like a touch of mango. Um, caramel that's probably from the barrel um, I think it actually it's, it's actually pretty good I'm gonna give it a I think I paid so price I believe I paid for a six pack was around I think it was like $13 so not bad um, I'll give it like a 92 out of a hundred I kind of wish um, I know this is more like a West Coast style but I kind of wish that um, that mango flavor was just a little bit more prominent but it's actually pretty good um, so I, I will say that I think my I have changed my mind about this beer. When I tried it the first time, I wasn't really too thrilled by it. And I know, um, I think Bumpy and Miscellaneous said that they didn't really like it as well. It kind of had that weird um, off oak astringency. But I've had this in my fridge for about maybe a month. Um, and I think maybe it just kind of got a little bit better with some time. Um, like I said up front, it was just, I think uh, the oak and the bitterness was kind of just giving it an off finish. But yeah, 92 out of 100. I'll recommend it. Um, if you guys like dogfish, I think you would like this. It does remind you. It is very reminiscent of a dogfish head beer. Um, dogfish head is usually one of those breweries that has slightly similar beers. Um, you can kind of taste that it's a, you can get that similarity that it's brewed by dogfish head. And uh, yeah, not bad. Actually, a little bit of particulate floating around in there as well. So there's a little bit of sediment. And uh, yeah, is there anything else that you guys like to see on my channel? Actually, Cyclops Scale. Sorry, before I end it. Cyclops Scale. Um, hop Cones, I'm going to give it a, I'd say three and a half out of five uh, uh, for sugar cubes. It's around two and a half out of five. Like I said, it's got a little bit of that caramel on the palate. And that definitely uh, enhances the sweetness. The um, the caramel does a good job, kind of working with the fruity, citrusy flavors, and the uh, the hoppy floral aspect of the beer. And it does it does help balance out the beer rather than just being overly dry, astringent. Um, the oak actually adds a, a a decent amount to the finish. Um, you do really pick up that oak. Um, and yeah, like I said before. <laughs> If there's anything else that you guys like seeing on my channel, definitely leave a comment down below. And don't forget to like and subscribe for more good videos. I like your beer. Thanks for watching, guys. Cheers.